Hello everybody and welcome back to another episode of Pokemon White. Last time we battled Bianca and Charon, respectively going into Route 4 here. And I have a little bit of an update for you in between episodes. I went ahead and I pretty much took out every single trainer in Route 4 and the corresponding areas that we're going to be visiting in this episode before we head to Nimbasa City. So, here's an update on the team. Uh, there's a reason that Blitzel is a bit behind everybody else, for good reason. Uh, hopefully, today, uh, we will be able to evolve three of our team members. Yeah, three-fourths of our team should be evolving in this episode. That'll be pretty historic for a Pokemon episode. Not like a Nuzlocke with a grinding montage or anything, just a straight-up traditional Let's Play video. This could be historic. And I think it's gonna go through. Anyways, this time, uh, we're gonna be pretty much picking up every single item that I glossed over during, uh, in between the last episode. Uh, I spent, uh, this is recorded later in the day from the last episode. I pretty much spent the rest of the time in between these recordings by battling everybody. And now I'm gonna be picking up items, so let's do this. I got my repel up. Let's just go. Uh, down here was a hidden pearl by the, uh, fisherman, so just thought I should point that out. Uh, anyways, let's start picking up our items. First up is gonna be a great ball. That's pretty cool. I'll take that. And then, uh, actually, oh, wait, there's an item right here first. It is a hyper potion. Awesome, we can sell that because I don't really, like, I use super potions and then I just start using, um... And then I start using full restores when I have the ability. Uh, anyway, uh, let us use the dowsing machine. Also, there's a spoiler related to that, uh, that screen right there. There is... Wait, what? Oh, there's a hidden item this way. Where? It's right here? Right there? Wait. Oh, the hidden item's over here. Here, okay. Uh, in the key item slot, there's actually a spoiler for uh, a future episode that I'm hoping to record tonight in this session. Uh, but anyway, I think that's the only hidden item I'm gonna get just because. Let's get away from that screen. Uh, although you will probably understand what... No, I don't want to use an Ultra Ball. I want to use a Super Repel. I have 50 of them. Well, I had 50. Now I have 48 left. I think there's a hidden... Thing here though? No, wrong area, I think. Uh, what does this sign actually say? T tired workers should head it to the uh, prefab house by Castilia City. Okay. I don't know what that's supposed to mean, but you know, good on ya. I think there's a hidden item right here? No? Yes? Am I mistaken? I thought there was a hidden item against one of these house things. I guess not. Well, I would put up the dowsing machine back up, but I kind of want to just get through this as quick as possible. TM41 Torment! There we go. I actually didn't know that hidden I uh, that Ultra Ball we got was a hidden item. I put I just put up the dowsing machine because I thought there was a hidden item. Uh, bef really? The first patch of sand I run into? We're not battling- Oh, look at the battle background at night in the desert. It's so pretty. Wow. Uh, but Darumaka, we're not battling you at all, so, uh, can we just go away here? Uh, the one thing that I hate about 5th generation is that they didn't introduce the repel mechanic where you just can spray a repel after it wears out, uh, while you're walking until Black 2 and White 2. So, unfortunately, we can't take advantage of that in this series, but hey, maybe in like a year from now when we do Black 2, White 2, pretty probably White 2 unless I can find a copy of Black... Nah, actually, I prefer doing White 2 because it follows the story, but we aren't at the point of the story yet. I should shut up now. Anyway, deep in the desert ahead of here, at the desert resort, there are some ruins that have become a little tourist destination. 
Ah, tourist destination. Okay, well, we're gonna be on our way there as soon as we pick up some items. Maybe it's a uh, black to and white to I'm thinking of where there's a hidden item against one of those, uh, like, house buildings there. An ether right here. Okay, that's good. Then we have an item over here. It is a super potion. I like super potions. They're nice. They're great. What does this say? Trainer tips! Pokemon have a source of energy for using moves. It's called PP, meaning power points. They have PP for each move. When a move has no PP remaining, that Pokemon cannot use that move. That's a good time to head for a Pokemon Center. I agree, that is a good time to head to the Pokemon Center. Up north! That leads to Nimbasa City. We're gonna take a detour, though. And thank goodness my repel wore out while we were not in... Uh, the sand, but first before we head north in this area, I want to go in here Because this guy right here will give you TM28 Dig a really really good ground type move and it lets you escape caves. So pretty cool uh, I'll probably teach that to sand isle off screen uh, You don't really have to say oh you mentioned that Pokemon of rock steel and Ground types are not affected by Sandstorm. That's not some information that's, uh, bad, I guess? Anyway, look at this right here. This is actually a transition to the Desert Resort. Um, if I move forward a little bit, it would happen, but look, the trucks that you saw at the Sky Arrow Bridge, they're going across this highway. It's so cool, but anyway, there we go. Desert Resort, we are here. And we have some more items to pick up. Okay, there's that. Don't run into a Pokemon, please. Thank you. What is this? A desert resort ahead? Okay. That just says desert resort ahead. I thought it would say something else, but I guess not. What do you have to say, actually? Known for the Relic Castle. Okay. School kid, you should know this. Caves run into Pokemon almost everywhere. Okay, thanks for the tip. Although, I know this by now. I knew this before you were programmed, school kid. Anyway, here we are at the Desert Resort. There's lots of trainers. That's why there's a doctor included right here for healing up your Pokemon. Uh, at this point, I think it's time we spray another Repel. Just so we don't run into any Pokemon while we are here. Off screen, I also went ahead and caught all the Pokemon you can find. Uh, here at the desert resort uh, hidden over here and I think in this spot was a rare candy I used that during my uh, bit of training just to get a uh, Pig knight up a level uh, right here's a firestone. So that's cool Now we can go over here if you battle these rangers they give you rost berries So that's something to keep in mind all the way down here. There is the TM number 39 for rock tomb Excellent. There's probably a hidden item somewhere over here. I'm just not really inclined to grab it right now uh, To pull up the dowsing machine because you already saw the spoiler once I don't really want to show it again Anyway all the way over here is a heart scale out in the open That's awesome and over here. I want to point this out This building is part of the relic castle but this certain castle structure isn't really that relevant until uh, later on in the game, much later on in the game. And I'm gonna press select so we can put the repels up top, and I wanna use another one. Right here, there is, a, there is an item ball. And that item ball is one of the most powerful TMs in the entire game, TM26 Earthquake. And you, you cannot get that until much later on. Do you know how, do you know how, like, what I would do to grab that right now for Sand Isle? Like, I would kill a man for that right now, but I'm just gonna leave it alone, I'm gonna gripe with it, keep griping with it, and I'm gonna move on here, because there's still a whole lot to explore, we got items to collect still, right here is a super potion. Alright, that's good. I, did I miss an item? I don't think so right over here uh, uh, is a fresh water oh that's nice okay and I think there's yep this item right here the black glasses powers up dark type moves that could be useful for sand isle and hello sir you're the first person to come clear out here to talk to me I'm so moved so I'll give you this and we obtained soft sand 
Another item that Sandile could use to power up super effective moves. Ground type moves for the soft sand. Really, really cool. I think that's the last item that I need. So now we can come over to this main part of the... Wow, just as my repel ran out too. Uh, this is the entrance to pretty much the basic relic castle. And these things right here... It appears to be a statue of a Pokemon. Maybe we'll find out what that is later on, but for now, let's head down the stairs into the main part of the Relic Castle. So, I faced everybody in here as well, uh, just so we can get through here quickly. Uh, like, the battle, like, the battling took at least an hour, and I had to go back and heal up, obviously, because I didn't just battle straight through, my Pokemon couldn't probably handle that. Uh, anyway, this right here, there's a staircase to head down, but there's too much sand and you're not allowed to do it. So, instead, you might want to talk to this backpacker right here. I've been carrying two Pokemon fossils, but they're just so heavy. Would you take one of them off my hands? Yes, indeed, I will be taking a fossil off of your hands. So, the cover fossil gives you Tirtuga, which is a rock and water type. Most, uh, actually, all fossils are rock type, uh, primary. Uh, Tirtuga is a rock water type. There's plenty of rock water fossils in the lineage of fossils. And then there's the plume fossil, which gives you Arkin. Arkin is a rock flying type. Only a select amount of rock flying types, uh, especially for fossils. I think Aerodactyl's the only other one. Uh, so, with that in mind, I'm gonna select the Plume Fossil. Oh, you like the Plume Fossil? It's a fossil of a bird Pokemon that lived in an ancient forest. But they say it couldn't fly. And there we go, the Plume Fossil is ours. Excellent. And now I'm going to fall down the sand pit. I do Oh, there is an item down here. It's a revive. Okay, good. I was kind of skeptical that maybe there was a trainer here instead, but no. It was just a revive. So, that is everything related to the Relic Castle and the Desert Resort. I think. Hopefully I didn't miss an item. I'm really sure that I didn't. So, with that being said, we're all clear to get out of here. And we are free to move on to Nimbasa City. So, let's make our way over here. Okay, interruptions aside, thanks dogs, let's move forward this way. This is a trainer right here, so you'd fight him normally if you just did everything else and then came this way, heading to Nimbasa, you know, after you were done. So, surprise, there's one last trainer there. Anyway, that's if you're not curious and just go on ahead. Anyways, hey, look, it's Charon and Professor Juniper. Hello, James. Come here. Elisa called and was asking all about Electric-type Pokémon, and I thought about you guys. That's why I wanted to see you. Ta-da! Freebies for you! Here, Charon. You too, James. And we've obtained some Ultra Balls! Yes! Excellent! Perfect! If you see a Pokémon that you want to have join you, be sure to use a good type of Pokéball because this could be the first and last time you see that Pokemon. I know it might say, seem strange for me to say this, since I'm the one who asked you to complete the Pokedex, but please, remember to enjoy your journey. Of course, I'm not saying you can just neglect the, neglect the Pokedex, but you know that. Now, if you'll excuse me, I have to go meet Bianca. It seems the professor gave us the Pokedex as a reason to send us on a journey. At least, that's what my mom told me. They wanted us to go out and see the world, so my mom, Bianca's mom, and your mom made a request to Professor Juniper. J 
James, what should we do now? I think I'd like to show the professor my thanks by going to Route 4 and catching some Pokemon I haven't caught yet. Sucks to be you, Sharon! I already got that covered. Anyways, hello, clerk. Uh, I was I was just on Route 4. How? Okay then. Any? Oh, you want me to check out the bulletin board? It's been a while since I did that. Yay, bulletin board! You can go to Anvil Town from the gear station. Oh, spoilers! Come on, game. Anyways, let's step foot in Nimbasa City. Gramps, we know you run the daycare! How do we know? Because we're Team Plasma! We are taking Pokemon away from people. Since you work at the daycare, we figure you must have a lot of Pokemon. Hand them over! What kind of nonsense is this? Ah! A strong looking trainer! Please, help me! If you're going to get in our way, we'll take your Pokemon too! Alright, we have been challenged by the Team Plasma Grunt. He has two Pokemon. First up is going to be Watchog. So, Pignite, go. But Pignite, actually, you know what? How about you hang back? How about we send in Whirlypeed for this one? I just have a hunch. I just have a hunch Whirlipede could uh, handle this better. Oh, Crunch, that's gonna hurt. Oh, never mind, that only did eight damage, wow. Oh, off screen, Venipede, uh, Venipede. Whirlipede learned, uh, learned Veno Shock, if I can say words properly. Uh, I'm actually gonna bug bite you, just cause I don't know uh, how good uh, your special defense is, and Venno Shock is a special move, so I'd rather just go for the physical move, and I think it was the right decision, cause it is a two hit KO. So Whirlipede gains 116 experience. Whirlipede is now level 30. Awesome. Blitzel's gonna gain some experience because of the experience share, and is now level 27. And Pignite gets a little bit too. Anyways, next up is going to be a Trubbish from the Team Plasma Grunt, so let's switch out into Sandile. Cause Sandile is a ground type, Trubbish is a poison type, although this is the first time you're actually officially seeing a Trubbish on screen. Uh, we can find them on, I think, one of the next routes, so uh, that's pretty neat. Oh, Sandile learned Crunch off screen, by the way. Pretty freaking awesome. Uh, we're just gonna mud slap this thing. Toxic spikes. This isn't a Wi-Fi battle, Plasma Grunt. This isn't a Wi-Fi battle. No need to set up toxic spikes. I'm not switching out. There's a critical hit. Down grow. Uh, down grows Trub. No, that's its evolution. Down goes Trubbish. Moxie boost for no reason. Uh, barely over a hundred experience points to get Sandile to level 29. And Blitz will gain some too as we defeat. The Team Plasma Grunt. What's this? Blitzel is evolving! Blitzel has evolved into Zeb Striker. Oh yes, look at my electrified zebra. It looks so awesome. Not only that, but Sandile is also evolving. Sandile has evolved into Crocorock. Crocorock! I love this evolutionary line. But we're not done yet, 
because Whirlipede is also evolving! Whirlipede has evolved into Scolipede. I really like Scolipede. It's one of my favorites. You want to learn Baton Pass? You don't even have any setup moves, <laughs> Scolipede. I gotta get used to saying Scolipede now. Uh, no, we will keep our old moves, but I appreciate the effort trying to learn Baton Pass. And now, future me, change the layout because I didn't change it for the other two evolutions. So yay, mass update. There we go. Three Pokemon evolved all at once. This went downhill fast, so I think we'd better run! Let's hide out at the amusement park! Thank you so much! Please take this as a token of my gratitude! It's a brand new bike! I always planned on riding it around Nimbasa City, but I never ended up riding it. There we go, we have received a shiny new bicycle! Awesome! I have a dig here on Route 3! If you have any Pokemon you want me to raise, please drop them off! I just came to sightsee, but I got in a lot of trouble! And there we go. Oh, Bianca's still out. Damn it, Bianca. I wanted to end off the episode. Hey, James. You. The professor told me Nimbasa City has a lot of things to see and do. The amusement park, big stadium, small court, and the battle subway. I'm going to go see the Pokemon musical. See you later. Okay, and now that we're done with that, we're actually not done with this episode yet. Now that we have the bicycle, I think it's time we pedal along back to Nacreen City. Alright, here we are back in Nacreen City, so let's enter the Nacreen Museum slash gym. And let us talk to these people over here, Nacreen Museum, Pokemon, oh. So it's you! I probably should have figured that because of the hole in the side of the wall. I'm researching Pokemon fossils here. You have a fossil, don't you? Shall I turn it back into a Pokemon? Yes, you shall. Alright. I will turn the plume fossil back into a Pokemon. The fossil you gave me turned back into a Pokemon. This is Arkin. Please take good care of it. And there we go, Arkin is ours, although Arkin is not an official team member, so we're just going to put it back in the PC, although I do want to take a look at it just because I want to see how good it is and probably kick myself in the butt when it has good nature and good stats. You are a jolly nature. Uh, is that good? I think well, it's better than lower attack. Or lowered speed, so I guess it's good enough. Uh, but, yeah, we're just gonna stick without using Arkin. It has Defeatist for an ability, lowers stats when HP becomes half or less. Pretty much the only uh, downside to Arkin and its evolution. Uh, but it comes with Pluck, Ancient Power, Agility, and Quick Guard. So, there you go. There is your fossil of choice, well, my fossil of choice. Maybe you chose the cover fossil, maybe you chose to get Tier 2 gun instead, but I had Tier 2 gun before. I used Caracosta, its evolution, in my original Let's Play of Pokemon Black. It's a fairly good Pokemon, I just wanted to change things up and pick Arkin, because I actually have never picked the Plume Fossil and Arkin until this Let's Play. Just a fun fact for you. Anyways, next time on Pokemon White... We will be back in Nimbasa City, and we will do a bit of exploration. So, with that, thank you for watching, 
And before we go, let's have one last look at the beautiful skyline before we go on the Sky Arrow Bridge. Thank you for watching, and I will see you next time.